That's right, guys. OpenAI just launched GPT-5 and I've tested it for trading strategies. I've given it a very hard time. So if you watch this video, you will know exactly what is good for and what is not good for. Can it convert an indicator to a trading strategy efficiently? Can it improve a trading strategy by itself? And also, can it create a completely new strategy from the scratch? And if you watch the video until the end, you will know how to use this new AI model to your advantage. As you can see, I'm not in my usual studio environment because I'm traveling. This is my hotel room and this is a corner in that hotel room. And I'm here to give you the latest information when it comes to AI trading strategies and automation. And with all of that, we already held millions of people. I mean, we have millions of views on this channel. We have 210,000 subscribers, which I'm very grateful for, right? Thank you very much. And if you appreciate that I'm bringing you these updates, even while I'm traveling, then massage the like button, subscribe to this channel, click the bell as well to not miss out on these time sensitive updates. And now let's take this AI for a spin. First of all, this is the GPT-5 model and I asked it, how are you better than the O3 model? Because you know, I like the O3 model, it's very powerful. And funny enough, it seems to know who I am, right? Because the first thing it says, it's stronger in reasoning and coding and it even mentioned PineScript and TradingView as if it knows the history that we had together. It even says that it's good at tweaking PineScript and also converting an indicator to a weekly strategy. Basically, it says that it's good at PineScript. So let's check it out, right? The first challenge I want to give it is to convert this indicator to a trading strategy. This indicator seems to be quite interesting, by the way. This is called the Lux Algo AI Super Trend Clustering Oscillator. Wow, let's go, right? And this one is interesting because I found that whenever there is basically a blue uptrend here, then also the price goes up. And then when there is a weakness in the chart, right? So you have this red cloud here in the indicator, it gets weaker, you could get out, right? To protect your profits and so on. And the first thing I said is basically take this indicator, right? Because there is code for this and I can just click here on these code brackets and then it gives me the code. So I can take the whole code, I can go to the AI and I can tell the AI to convert it into a trading strategy. Now I have two options, right? I can leave it to the AI to decide when to buy and when to sell, which I did. But I can also tell the AI when I think it should buy and sell, which I also did. So let's see which one is better. And if you are new around here, I do have a video about how to convert a trading view indicator into a strategy with 1.4 million views. Okay, so if you wanna dig deeper, watch this video afterwards. Okay, so I took the entire indicator code, right? Copy the whole thing and I gave it to the AI here in the prompt and the prompts are all down below. You will find all of them, but I also have given it the Bitcoin chart data, which I always export from here, export chart data, because I wanted to have the same data that I am looking at. Long story short, I told it, please convert this indicator to a trading strategy. I should have put a space in between <laughs> as you see fit, right? So I didn't tell it when to buy, when to sell, find attached the data, right? From the Bitcoin USD one day chart. And I gave it some limitations the way I trade, right? Long only 2018 to the future one day chart, 100% of equity per trade. It's better to compare like this. 0.1% commission, one tick slippage. Okay, cool. And then it went ahead and calculated the whole thing and it gave me this trading strategy. Okay, I copied the whole code, right? And I've put it here, right? I have a trading strategy for testing, paste it there basically. And I always put AI test in the beginning so that on the chart, I know that this is the test version that I have. Save it, right? And then let's see what it comes up with. Well, it's a pretty bad strategy, okay? Minus 32% on Bitcoin since 2018 is a pretty bad result, okay? So the strategy is uh, not great. But the next thing I did is super interesting because I told it, okay, the results are horrible. I mean, of course, try a different buy sell logic buy when blue dot, sell when red dot. I mean, I didn't really give it a lot of information, but when you go to the chart and you check it a bit more, then you can see that whenever there is a blue dot happening, right? Not just crossing above the line, but the dot is happening, right? It's printed. It's actually a good time to buy. And when there is a red dot, where is the next red dot? There is a good time to sell, right? So that was a good trade. So I went to the AI and said, hey, please do it like that, okay? And the AI gave me new code. So let's copy this and let's put it here. And again, AI test. So I remember that this is the test. And let's see which result it gives now. Because now suddenly it gives 
1,200% profit with 37% max drawdown. Now, it's not the best thing, but it's quite okay. And it somehow added this zero line, which, yeah, which messes up the scaling. But let's see if it did the right thing, okay? Let's see if it respected my request. So here is the, the dot, right? It's printed. And on the next candle open, it buys. Perfect, right? And then here is the red dot, the first red dot since then, and it sells. So this is the logic I wanted. And it's not too bad, actually, for the fact that it took me five minutes to come up with this, right? Converting an indicator to a trading strategy definitely works, and it gives you a good foundation to build on top. And if you're interested in improving a trading strategy and how to do it step by step, watch the video that I will put up here. <laughs> And for the nerdy people watching this video, it says here that the strategy might have a look ahead bias. Of course, you need to take this seriously, okay? And you can ask the AI, hey, what does it mean? But as you can see here, the condition to enter is only when the bar is confirmed, right? So there is no look ahead bias in this particular case. The next intellectual challenge for GPT-5 is to take an existing trading strategy that you like, for example, and improve it, okay? Make it better. Of course, you have to tell him what better means because it's an AI, right? You have to give it good instructions. And the way I did it is that I took the Gaussian channel strategy code, which I have, which you don't have, but it doesn't matter. You can take any strategy that you have access to. And I wanted it to make it better. But make it better in this case means that it should avoid trading in a sideways market, right? Because you can see here, it loses money a lot of times because this is a, a long sideways chop. And I wanted to take only the nice trades, right? Where the trend is clearly up, right? Not sideways. So I told the AI to do exactly that. I went to GPT-5 and I gave it a couple of informations, right? Not only the code, but also the screenshots of my inputs and the properties that I'm using to be sure that it uses the same settings that I use, just improve the strategy, right? To make it better. Again, I gave it all the data of the Bitcoin chart, which again, you can download by coming here and clicking on export chart data, right? And then I told it to improve the strategy because it trades in sideways markets and loses money, right? So the idea is to avoid such trades and to make it better. And better means more percent profit and lower drawdown. I told it to consider all the attached images and data. I gave it the code of the existing strategy and then it went on to create a better version. The problem was that it created some errors, right? So I had to tell it, hey, listen, I have this error. I just give it a screenshot, right? And then I say, hey, fix the error and give me the full fixed code. Then it gave me fixed code, but then there was another error because it always uses ADX and this function does not exist in PineScript. It's very annoying because it does it all the time, okay? Anyway, gave it that screenshot, fixed the code, long story short. I then went to PineScript. I pasted in the new code, right, that I obviously got from the AI. And this is the new version it gave me, right? So let's forget the total PNL for now. The drawdown is lower than the previous version. Let me switch between, right? So you see the previous version had 30% drawdown. Total trades is less. Okay, cool, right? Because it trades less in sideways markets. And also the profitable trades went up by, well, 3% points, not huge. And the profit factor went up a little bit. But in total, this new strategy has less profit. But still, at least the AI managed to improve the drawdown because that's what I told it, right? That a better strategy means either or both, right? Either I have more profit or I have lower drawdown. But what is a bit disappointing is that when you look at this area here, this is the sideways market that I don't like, right? And I gave it the instruction to eliminate these trades, right? And if you compare with the old version, all those trades are still there, but what it eliminated are actually the profitable trades. You see this one here disappears in the new version, right? And also this one here disappears in the new version. This is very disappointing. And I think that this model is not any better than O3 before for this type of use case. And I really expected the AI to do a better job. Of course, I can now continue talking to it, give it more screenshots, tell it, hey, these trades here is the, are the ones I don't like, but it is disappointing. Let's go to the next challenge. Maybe it's better there. Is GPT-5 better creating completely new trading strategies? And the idea here is, let me tell you the secret. The idea here is that I'm hoping that in the training set of the AI, there are very good trading strategies hidden, right? And I want to get it out of it, okay? So I give it the most freedom possible to create a good trading strategy. So here's the thing, right? Again, 
I go to the eye, I give it the chart data. I think that's important because it has to have the same data as I have in TradingView, right? And then I said, hey, I need the best trading strategy you can come up with for Bitcoin USD one day chart, data attached, long only, 2018 to 2069, because it's funny, right? Sometime in the future, yeah? One day chart, 100% of equity per trade, 0.1% commission, one tick slippage. And the goal is to have a super high net profit and a max drawdown that is below 30%. Let's go. It did come up with something, right? And the thing is that the first version that it gave me, I dropped it in, yes, it had, of course, coding errors. So I gave it, again, the ADX problem, yeah? I gave it a screenshot, I told it to fix it, and then it didn't give me the full code, right? And I said, hey, give me the full code or the entire code. Cool, it gave me the entire code. Then there was another issue with this function. Again, just give it a screenshot. You don't need to understand what the issue is. Just make sure it can see the code around it and the error itself, right? And so, okay, give me the full fixed code, right? It gave me another code. There was another coding error. Okay, and so on and so on. In the end though, it gave me a very interesting trading strategy that I wanna show you right now. This is the trading strategy it gave me. And as you can see, what I really like about it, the max equity drawdown is just 15%, 15.46. That is amazing. Profitable trade, 61%. Oh my God, that's so good, right? Profit factor, 7.1. And now you would say, yeah, but the net profit is not that high compared to Gaussian channel. That is correct. But Gaussian channel, and here's the trick how to think about this, has a drawdown of 30%, right? So now check this out. If you basically take this strategy from the AI and you 2x it, right? You leverage it 2x, then you have 30% drawdown with 2,400% profit, but 60% profitable trades way better, okay? So you see what I mean, right? So you have a higher chance of success, even though the net profit is lower, but when you have a super, super low max drawdown, you can leverage the strategy, 2X, 3X, okay? Don't go above that, right? And then you basically take advantage of the entire thing. Now, what you can also do, of course, is you can continue the conversation with the AI to improve this strategy in front of you even further. And that's exactly what I recommend doing because you will never get the perfect strategy from the AI and that's it. You will have to improve it and I have a video for exactly that. A step-by-step -step guide on how to improve a trading strategy, which steps to take, right? How to use the AI to help you do that, right? This is the video up there. I think I linked it already, you will find it. It's a very important video because that's the only way, at least right now, to get to a way better trading strategy than the AI can give you from the scratch. Overall, I think GPT-5 is not much better than the O3 model. I think what happens in the background is really that the AI is choosing from the existing models. You remember the models from before, right? 4.0, O3, the mini versions and all these things. So GPT-5 seems to be choosing from the existing models depending on the task at hand. And it basically just uses O3 anyway, right? Because that was the best one for coding or at least for our use case. So I don't think that this model has more knowledge or is smarter than before. It's just a consolidation of all the models that were there before to simplify it for everyone. If you want to get started with trading strategies that already proved themselves, go to Signum.money. You have the Gaussian channel strategy for the one day chart, the Ichimoku strategy for the four hour chart. And of course, when you click here on get access, you can get access, but you can also see the videos representing those strategies and how to automate these strategies so they buy and sell on your exchange fully automatically. If your crypto portfolio is $25,000 or more, then you need more than just trading strategies. Consider the Auto Trading Masterclass where I teach you my entire process, including my trading strategies, of course, which are the best in the industry. Click on these screenshots and you will see every single trade they took. But you need the education to properly build a risk-adjusted portfolio to know how to play the markets depending on the cycles and how to rebalance, how to use all of this to your advantage, right? Do your homework, by the way, check the reviews, watch the video here on the website, and you will understand that this is a limited access program for 1,000 people only. We still have some seats because I just started the program one year ago. This is the most advanced program that you can find, and this is just for higher net worth individuals, for people who have enough money to understand that risk management is the most important thing. Okay, so if this is for you, apply for access, click this button. We're gonna talk to each other. If it's a good match, then you can join.
As you have seen, GPT-5 is pretty good at creating completely new trading strategies, but you still need to learn how to improve them. And that is why this is the next video you should watch. Screen,